Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're still staying with me and not getting tired yet. <laughs> um, this is a channel kind of dedicated to uh, some weird collectibles, weird collectibles in general. Of course, we've been talking about baseball cards, and we're going to keep doing that a little bit more. Um, I do. Uh, I used to collect a lot of cards, and I got them all in totes. I wish they were worth more than they are, but uh, I got a lot of money and time wrapped up into them. Been collecting since I was little, of course. You know, paying 50 cents a pack. I started in with like 1989, uh, Don Russ and Score and you know everything else. I never really bought Upper Deck because you know it was like a dollar a pack, and I was like, what? I can get two packs of Don Russ or Tops or Score for that same price. So I never really bought Don Russ or I never really bought Upper Deck until later. So we're going to talk about some upper deck cards today that are a little bit strange and uh, definitely errors. And even though I don't know if I know why they're all errors. Okay, the first one here is a 1989 upper deck Herm Winningham, number 636. Probably not an error you've ever heard of uh, on the back of it. On Winningham, the first two letters should be W-I. Or actually W L or maybe it's capital I you can't really tell but it's an error nonetheless and they did correct that none of these are really in the back so they're probably not worth anything but kind of cool the next one is this Mark McGuire this is a uh, 89 again Mark McGuire very cool looking card I've always been a, well I was an A's fan I don't really care for them now but Always kind of a cool card. I was always a fan of Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire at the time. Yes, I was one of those. And uh, this is a cool-looking card, you know. I mean, I would say one of the cooler cards of all time, if you ask me. That's my opinion. I don't really care much for Mark McGuire now, but it was kind of a cool card at the time. Made a little bit of a mistake, though, on his card. They said he had 52 career uh, doubles. But if you add them up, it comes to 51. So they got one double wrong. whoop de doo So, and I don't know that they corrected that one. This one, Gary Varsho, also an 89 upper deck. So this one's a little bit weird. Okay, so, you know, you got a, him on the front and on the back. You have him, he's batting. He's wearing his road uniform. And that's an error. I don't know why, but it is. So upper deck corrected it with his home uniform on the back. Is that not okay to have a road uniform on a card? I don't get that one, okay? If you know the answer, please leave it down below. I, I seriously don't know. I actually, I Googled it too and I couldn't find it. All right, so I got some Gary Sheffields here. And uh, um, these are some Eric, um, some rookie cards from 89. And I think they're I think they're worth some money, probably $5 a piece. So it's a little interesting because this one is kind of bizarre. If you look at the top corner, it says SS for shortstop, his position. Um, but uh, the error is that they inverted the SS. That means they made it upside down. And if you look at it, it's really hard to tell the difference. I mean, think about an S in your head. How can you tell if an S is upside down? Well, in this case, the top of the S is a little bit smaller than the bottom of the S. Well, look at the scan. I think I have it appeared on the screen there. And you can tell me if you really think that's the difference. But if you compare, you can see. And it's kind of a kind of a valuable one, kind of a cool little error. Uh, I don't know if valuable is the right word to use, though. It's still only worth like five bucks, I think. So that's it for upper deck. They don't make a lot of errors. I'm sure there's some that I missed. If you know of any cool upper deck errors. Oh, the Dale Murphy uh, reverse negative. That's a valuable upper deck error. I don't have one of those. I'd like to get my hands on one. But, uh, guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos. This is kind of a short one here. Not a lot of upper deck airs. I hope you like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, I don't want you guys to miss another episode. We got a couple more cool ones, cool, cool cards that maybe you haven't heard of before. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop some comments. We'll see you next time.